the team meetings. Uh, I know that I did one as well, too. Uh, so thank you guys for filling in for me while I was uh, recovering from my knee surgery. Uh, my knee's actually working pretty good right now, so I feel pretty good. Um, so uh, thank you guys for having patience uh, uh, while I was on. Daniel, let's get into the next one. Let's let like, Mark into the room. Uh, no pressure, no diamonds. So that's a bold law. What do you think that means? Don't put pressure on yourself. You're not gonna. You don't have yeah. So how does the diamond get created? Pressure. By like heat. By pressure, right? Pressure on what? What does the diamond start out? Like a hole, right? And constant, constant pressure on that turns it into that amazing object, right? That everybody wants. And that's really the same thing for us, whether it's going out there and lead generating or going out there and making ourselves better. I mean, think about working out. Most people, especially when they start working out, don't really like it that much, but the more pressure you put on your body and the more consistently you do it, you get results and it changes, right? And it's the same thing with our businesses. If we're working on it, if we're getting outside of our comfort zone and we're putting pressure on ourselves to actually get better at what we do, we're going to get better at what we do, right? Uh, so uh, that's, that's one of my favorite bold laws because at the end of the day, unless we're really stressing and pushing ourselves to be better, it's going to be hard. Right? All right, Dan. Uh, tell us something good. So uh, I'll start off. My knee works. Uh, and the doc said that I don't work out. Right? So my knee has been hurting since August, and I don't know if you guys could tell or whatever like that, but you know, it's been kind of sapping my energy. That's why my energy is like the vibe right now, is because I actually am not in pain for the first time since August. Uh, so that is, uh, that's something I'm really grateful for and really good. Uh, so look. I have a shout out to Charles because every day, just about every day, I walk in here in the morning and he is already here on the phone, grinding it out. You know, he's doing things very, he looks to be very committed to his schedule and it's just shining through and he's always pleasant and willing to help. So you're just a really great energy in this office. And thank you for all that you do. <laughs> I can explain why he and Charles is a newer agent. Uh, he's had a lot of success already. Yeah. So, uh, really great job. Uh, who else? Come on, we got to share. It. Let's go. Well, I mean, I just wanted to bounce it back and say that I'm very grateful for, for everybody for making me feel like uh, this is like a family for sure. Um, also, the kayaking event. Thank you, Manny and Jenny, the rest of the team. That was. It was amazing. Uh, it really opened my eyes to you know, uh, a different side of Long Beach and you know, helped me. Uh, it was, I thought it was amazing. Well, <laughs> I just want to say I'm not grateful to many for doing that event on that night because I wasn't here. And kayak is like one of my favorite things to do. I second that. I wasn't here either. Right? Yes, I <laughs> But we do have summer coming up, and now my knee works. So, you know, paddleboarding is on my agenda, and kayaking is on my agenda. So, I'm really those, excited about that. Those three events are a lot of fun. So, if you haven't been in one or haven't been in one in a while, you can check out the calendar so, because it's a really good time. Yeah, and, you know, uh, I'll get more details later, but we are kind of planning the beach day next year as well. Yeah. Right? Uh, so, we'll get more details once we have for you guys as well, too. Uh, anybody else? All right, uh, Daniel, let's go to the next slide. Some birthdays. We just want to say happy birthday to our June birthday babies. Uh, Lori, Jason, Susan, Yanjing, Amber, Cooney, Betty, and Betty. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy Betty, because she always brings such great energy, and she is pr probably one of the biggest cultural ambassadors to our office that I can think of. So thank you for all that you do, and uh, at the very least, there's going to be a cupcake in the future. Right? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, so uh, we, those are our dream birthdays. Make sure that you wish everybody happy birthday when you see them. Some work anniversaries. So these are some people that uh, uh, that was started with AW in June, which is kind of weird. We had about 160, 170 agents, and uh, only two started in June. So that's 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 kind of odd to me. Uh, 
Uh, but uh, Rubina and Ryan uh, both are, are uh, June work in. Okay. And Alicia, it's like, are you June work in our tree too? I and Alicia! <laughs> All right. We're at the road. There we go. And then get her in here. So we got a cat girl her page who is our outstanding MCA. If you don't know, also is part of a real estate team and she just kept, right? Uh, so Daniel, get the picture ready. Let's get Paige really embarrassed. Um, <laughs> So, oh, is that what you told me about this morning? Yeah. So he got like 20 applicants on this morning. There's a lot of people. Yeah. So I think we're good. Okay. <laughs> uh, so uh, good price, though, uh, and it uh, looks like a great place. And uh, next slide. Oh, yeah, Betty. The house is having an open house. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. But we are having an open house just to filter in the rest of the needs. Uh, this Thursday, uh, matching up with the South Bay brokers open from 1245 to 345. Okay, cool. Make sure you, if you want to add another 20, uh, you know, other ones that are already out there just in case, right? Uh, then we won't be on Twitter and make sure you go check it out. All right. So John is not in here right now, and he's got a couple, uh, one in Torrance. 
at 33.50, and then another one in San Pedro at 24.50 as well. So if you have people uh, that are looking for rentals in either of those areas, uh, ask John, he's back up. Uh, Erica is not here right now. She has a rental in San Pedro. And then uh, James is not here right now, but he has a really nice looking one in Studio City, which doesn't surprise me to James and Mr. Rotary. So of course he's got something that's a little bit more upscale on there as well. Uh, yeah, Jean has a one in, on, in Hawthorne, a, a little over a 1.2. Uh, and then Lauren has another one. Lauren's getting, Lauren and Yang are getting pretty busy. Uh, has one in Torrance at 920 uh, as well. Uh, Christina has one in Carson. Uh, so make sure you reach out to Christina. That's, if you... that's sold. Oh, yeah, that's, that's sold. That's that's the closing. Closing. Oh, I can see the closings at tops. But I'm not going to buy a grab, so like, forgive me, right? Uh, so congrats to Christina. Congrats to Lauren and Rod on their property in Torrance. Uh, Young has one in PVE. Uh, that's not a bad commission. 3.2. So that's, not, that's a pretty good one. Stephen, uh, not at over 9.1 is even better, right? Uh, so congrats to Stephen. Uh, Maggie and Paige, there was the captain property for Paige. Uh, uh, Lavila Presta, and then Rubina has one in Alhambra. Uh, so congrats on that as well, too. And then we have more. Maybe out of breath here and say, so wait, there are more. Uh, so Laura Rico had a one in Wilmington, and Brianna Davis had a one in Lancaster. So congrats on both of those. Erica in Cerritos, and Christina in LA. Not so congrats. And that is, oh, I need to brass a little bit. So man, you guys had a really busy month. Okay, so sometimes you are really quiet during this section here, but obviously we got listings. Buyers are starting to pop up. Uh, and if you don't have a business, you should have a lot of needs and wants if you don't have a business. So uh, what are some needs and wants that you guys have right now? Whether it's properties, whether it's trainings that you would like to see, whether it's making masterminds that you'd like to have, or speakers that you'd like to hear from, what are some of the things that, that, that you really feel are going to help you guys in your business right now? Hi, it's Michelle. Can I pop in real quick? Somebody's... Turn the volume up so I can hear. And let's uh, can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, we can hear you now. Okay. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Michelle Velasco. I actually um, live in San Luis Obispo, Pismo Beach area, but I, I also live down there. Um, but I have a listing in Signal Hill, Cal Heights area of Long Beach. It is tremendous opportunity for the right owner, buyer who's either an investor or someone wants to live in one unit and rent out the other. Front is a craftsman that is currently a 2-1, but actually at 1,154 square feet has room to be made into possibly a 3-2. The rear unit is two bedroom, two bath, built in 2010, and it's over two, car, two double car garages. And then there's additional room, so there could be a possibility for an ADU. I don't know, but this is for the buyer to figure out. But if anybody has a buyer or an investor who's looking for that property that they've been looking for a while, it's only listed at 1150 and it's got tremendous upside potential. So if anybody has any questions for that, please let me know. It's 3309 Falcon. And so um, just thought I'd share. Thank you. Well, thank you, Mr. Well, that sounds like a great property. Um, all right, what else? What are some other needs you want? Yeah, could be, hey, I need, I need, I'm looking for this for my buyer, or it uh, could be, hey, I, I need training on this, or, or whatever. What are some of the things that are really going to help you guys have the biggest impact for you guys? I love this slide. I always get this deer in the headlights look when I put this slide up. Unless somebody actually has something to buy or to look at this. What do you guys think? Get some interaction going on with this. Obviously, I don't care how successful you are in business. There's always something that you could use some assistance. With. Either it's more business or it's, I need more time back. What are some things that you guys feel are the biggest challenges that you're facing? Yeah, Michelle, you want to go Getting good leads? Okay. What else? I used to be a teacher, so I'm good with silence. So we can sit here for the next 20 minutes. I'm going to force some engagement out of you. 
Yeah, good. I need to sell my listing in Dunham Beach to some three, four armor. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to have a price change today and I'm going to have that broker open this Thursday. I hope everybody can come between 12 to 2. Give me your feedback, recommendation, or if there's anything I should do differently, or you know, just give me some input. And I have not seen too many from this office. I have seen uh, this guy who comes almost every open room. It's wonderful. Yeah. But I'm mean, like, you guys should give me, we're so used to sell everything in one, two weeks. So I really need help on this. Okay. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, for sure. So let's go and make sure we're supporting Betty. Because Betty yeah. always supports us. No. Single pin, but can be an ADU. Okay. Yeah. So Thursday, right? Thursday. Let's go let's go support Betty on Thursday. Yeah. All right. Anybody anything else? Uh, what's the address, Betty? 2734 ARMA. 2734 ARMA. So, Daniel, can you put that down? ARMA. 2734. ARMA. 2734. Yes. All right. So, let's go support Betty. Uh, cool. Thank you. Thank you. And then uh, from Joel's recommendation, we'll get some stuff going on some classes on uh, more lead generation stuff to be able to get more leads, which we actually talked a little bit about that in yesterday's lunchtime session. Uh, so uh, anything else before we move on to the next slide? All right, let's go uh, to the next slide then. Uh, make sure that you submit your open houses. Um, and so to Daniel, that way, if you have a house that you want to have open, if you're a listing, if you, if you have a listing you want to have a house open, Daniel can get that out to their office. And then if you're looking for open houses, uh, then Daniel has a nice list of ones that are available as well, too. Uh, next slide, we got some upcoming classes and events I want to make sure that we go over. Uh, some really good ones. Uh, so Daniel, can you click the next one? We have, this is not really a class, but we got the softball tournament coming up, which this is my first year here. I don't know a whole lot about this, but apparently this is like a really big deal. It's called like the King of the Hill softball tournament. Uh, so if you want more info about potentially being able to play, so like if you if you can like, like rope a, 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 a softball out of the park, uh, you need to talk to Daniel uh, because uh, uh, this is something that uh, that we really want to do, right? Any emails that we play, let me know, please. Females. I, I can try to get my wife down because my wife was actually really good back in the day, and her dad was actually you know, uh, a, a, a coach for men's softball at one of the world championships. So uh, that, 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 that we got we got some, some potential, right? All right. Uh, so that's coming up. This is super important. So you have to go to this. Um, this is basically uh, the upcoming July contract changes. So Jeff is going to be doing a session here on Friday, June 14th, in person from 11 to 1 p.m. And he's going to go over all of the stuff that's going to change with the contracts with this in the ER settlement. So uh, you need to make sure that you're here uh, because the last thing that you want to do is be messing up contracts uh, that or doing things that are going to put you or your clients in any sort of jeopardy. So you need to make sure that you're, that you're here. Okay. Uh, RSVP with Daniel, uh, so that uh, you make sure that you get the, because we, we need to keep a, you know, definitely a calendar of who's taken the class and who hasn't taken the class, uh, so that we can get people up to date on, on what's what's new with it. Uh, one thing that's not on here that is on the calendars that you guys have is Jeff does do a Zoom session every Tuesday. You should be tuning into those, especially if you're a newer agent, because if you have questions about contracts or you haven't filled out a lot of things before, uh, our broker that covers things every Tuesday. Yeah. Is that, is that, uh, that's a Tuesday session? That's that the Tuesday sessions are on Zoom. So okay. you can hop in on that for anyone. Is there a link on here? Uh, Daniel will yeah. you the link. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, Daniel, make sure that you get that out today because we should have more people hopping in to, to, to Jeff's stuff on Tuesdays. Also, well, I'm going to take it here in the chamber too. So, if you want to join me and then um, the whole thing. 
Yeah, so we do stream them in here from well, okay. Uh, but the, this will be the this one that one's going to be really important because that's going to be he's going to specifically go over contract changes and that will be in person on that Friday. All right, Daniel, we do have a few sessions this quarter of Ignite left, uh, which James Abdemolik's been teaching, doing a really great job. Uh, we have a session tonight uh, from six to eight, and again that uh, is in person here, and uh, you can hop in on Zoom and. James has been doing a really great job with that. It's going to be session 11. Tonight's going to be follow up with leads. So, this is going to be a session to really show you how to follow up with leads, which is really, really important, right? And one of the things, if you don't know who Jason Abrams is, Jason Abrams is the director of learning uh, for KWU, uh, and he's worn lots of hats at Keller Williams. But one of the things that he always talks about when he does uh, agent coaching sessions is this thing that a lot of agents sometimes think, hey, I need leads, I need leads, I need leads. And the thing that Jason always says is the industry doesn't have a lead generation problem. Leads are everywhere. And they really are, right? Because if we reach out, if we just reached out to the people that we know, we would get a lot more, probably more leads than what we need, right? In addition to reaching out to the people that we know, we can hold open houses, we can knock on doors, we can go to networking events, we can buy leads. There's all kinds of access to leads in this industry, right? He said, where we really have a challenge in this industry is lead conversion or follow-up because lots of agents will get a lead, they'll basically borderline be a stalker for like the first week um, because, oh, I got a lead, I got a lead, I got a lead. And then the lead's not super responsive in that week, so they forget about it. Right, and then you kick yourself six months later when you call them and they say, "Oh yeah, I actually just closed that for last week." Right, so we got to do a better job of follow. Um, so that would be a good session tonight. All right, Daniel, uh, this is a, a kind of tip, tip inside of command. Now, if you go to the bottom right of command, we have our own kind of like chat GPT for uh, Keller Williams. So if you haven't checked it out yet, it's really, really cool. In the bottom right, when you log into the command, there's this little kind of like star box. You'll see these little star logos there on the bottom right. And if you click on that, it's just like chat GPT. You can type in real estate questions, and then the AI will source information from all the books and all the different uh, you know, things that we've created over the years about the industry. So it's like a very specific real estate chat GPT. So if you say, for example, how do I hold a seventh level open house? It will literally give you the list of how to hold a seventh level open house. If you ask it anything really real estate related, that will give you the answers to it. So it's, it's pretty cool, right? Um, I don't have it set up right now, so maybe next team meeting I'll demo that a little bit because it's a really cool tool. Okay. All right. We do have bold coming up. First step is on June 13th. You guys have zero excuse not to go to the first session. Right, and the first because the first session costs how much? It's free. That doesn't cost anything. So um, let me ask you this: uh, is, How much would you pay theoretically to go and listen to one of the top real estate agents in the world <laughs> and learn from them? Probably quite a bit if you're serious about your business. Cody is one of the top real estate agents in the world. And you get to go hang out with him all day for free on the first day. So I'm not asking you guys to commit to the whole thing, right? Um, but there is zero excuse. And that's going to really tell me. If I don't see you in that room on day one, I'm going to know who's really serious about taking their business to the next level and growing in this next year. Uh, because if I have an opportunity to hear from one of the top agents in the world to speak, uh, and I don't have to pay anything for it, I'm dropping what I have going on that day and I'm showing. Right? Uh, so, first step again is free. That's June 13th. Um, and, uh, yeah. Is that, is that in person? It's all in person. There's no Zoom on. Do you know where it is? Uh, what's the location on that again? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Level 3. Level 3. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so pretty close. <clears throat> well, then we. Yeah. Oh, hey, you got, you got an awesome view and you got one of the top agents in the world, right? Uh, so uh, really, really great. And again, 
Cody's not one of those guys, I can tell you right now, he's not one of those guys where his mom and his dad were a real estate agent. He inherited this big business and really didn't work for it. Uh, Cody would uh, has, I don't know if we'll get into it too much in the, this session. He had a really rough childhood. I'm talking about like, you know, sleeping in cars, right? Uh, so uh, he, he is a self-made man for sure. Uh, and a uh, good story and, uh, and a really great opportunity for you guys. So I'll be really disappointed, honestly, if you don't sign up for that first step, because it doesn't cost anything. All right. If you need help with that, make sure you reach out to Daniel. And we got some people who have definitely already signed up for step one for more. Uh, so thank you guys for signing up for that as well. Okay. Any questions on that? Just go. Right? Just go. Okay. Um, we, if you, how many guys did listen to the value squared stuff, those, uh, those, uh, uh, the, those online sessions? Or what did you think about some of that stuff, Brian? It was very, it was valuable information. So, what did they talk about? What's coming and, you know, the, it's basically the bio, you know, we're talking about a month ago. Yeah. Yeah, it was basically, Based on um, buyer's representation and and knowing, you know, being ready to have to show value for what's coming. Yeah. So the, the whole thing with the value sport is, hey, how do I, how am I showing value so that you know I can engage with my buyers and with my sellers, and I can uh, I, I can be that that person who earns that business, right? Uh, so if you missed those Zoom sessions. With Gary and Jason and uh, Jay Pop is on. Um, unfortunately, they're not going to fly to PV and teach it here in person, but I'm going to teach it here in person uh, on the 12th. Uh, and so basically, that'll be a four hour session from 12 to 4 on the 12th. And we're going to go over all things on how to deliver better value proposition. How do I demonstrate value? We're going to talk about conversations. We're going to talk about delivering your value me as message and developing your value message. Uh, so it will be a really good, uh, good session. Yeah. Oh, there's a title on the that says from 12.30 Yeah, so that we were doing some sessions at 12.31. Daniel just messed up on changing the time there. So we need that. Uh, so that it is 12. Okay. Um, I wish it was happening. We can't go over all that content and happen. So that is 12 to 4. So all you Zoomies, that is 12 to 4. Um, and uh, we will Zoom that probably too uh, for that particular session. Uh, but uh, definitely, if you haven't checked out the ones that were online, I would come to that because it's uh, it, we've got to deliver our value work. Okay. Um, cool. Also, uh, this hasn't been taught in a while, and so. Um, you know, I've been talking to James a lot because if you don't know James at the mall, James is our uh, ALC member. He's our luxury chair, um, and he's got this goal to become the KWU faculty like me. I'm not trying to brag or anything, uh, but uh, he, uh, uh, so he's, the, the, this is one of the classes he has to teach in order to be able to apply for KWU faculty. Uh, so uh, we're going to do it together, and so we're going to teach instead of doing it one day because I know sometimes it's hard to sit all day in here. Uh, we're going to do this over a three-week period, uh, and so basically this will be on Fridays. Uh, and for the most part, other than on the day that uh, the day that uh, Jeff Curtis is going to be here, we can't start at twelve because Jeff is going to go till one. So we'll start at about one thirty on that uh, on the fourteenth. Uh, but other than that, we'll go twelve to two uh, on Fridays, basically. In uh, so the first sessions this Friday. Uh, and we'll go over, uh, basically, if you don't know what the six personal perspectives are, step one is commit to self-mastery. Uh, and so uh, how do I basically have self-mastery? Uh, step two is committing to the 80-20 principle. Step three is moving from E to P. What's moving from E to P? Anybody know? John, you can't answer. I know you know. All right, that's what you need to be here. If you don't know what E to P is, that's one of the big fundamental principles of Keller Williams. And so it's moving from entrepreneurial to purpose. Okay? Uh, step four is being learning based. Um, step five is removing your limiting beliefs. And one, probably one of the most important ones is step six, being accountable. Uh, so uh, like I said, we're going to spend three Fridays going over two steps each, uh, each uh, Friday. 
Uh, so definitely, and there is, that is right there, we're just talking about the, about six personal perspectives. Uh, so uh, you, you need to be here uh, this Friday uh, to tune into that, right? Any questions on the six piece? One of the best classes that Keller Williams has. So if you have, because a lot of the stuff, really, how many of you guys have read the MRE? Million Real Estate Agent. Okay. If you haven't read it, you gotta read it, right? That's why you're cute. Because when you you're the reason you're buying into this franchise is you love the culture and you're buying into our products and systems. And that is the playbook to build a business as big as you want. So you gotta really understand and master those things. And at the start of all the books that Gary Keller writes, everything's really about mindset. And rather than actually getting into the nuts and bolts of stuff. Because if we're not in the right mindset, if we're not somebody who's accountable, if we're not learning based, right? If we're not setting ourselves up for success, then it's harder to have success, right? Um, so I highly encourage you guys uh, to, to come to this. Uh, like I said, it's one of the best classes Keller Williams has, and I know he hasn't taught it in a long time. All right, power hours, we're doing that on every Monday. Uh, so um, yesterday we talked a little bit about, uh, uh, we talked a little bit about database assessment and lead generation. Uh, next week we're gonna talk about working with listings and dialogues or conversations with sellers. We're gonna have a lot more trainings on convos that we have with people because ultimately, um, if I don't know what to say, uh, it's gonna be a lot harder uh, to deliver or to produce when the time is right. Okay. Uh, which, speaking of that, uh, I don't, I didn't have time to put a slide up, but make sure that you time block some time on the 24th. Uh, and we can't share the link, so you can't access it from home. But we're going to stream on the 24th, and I'll get more details out. I'll Daniel get more details out to you today. Um, how many of you guys have heard, uh, I don't know if you guys have, how many of you guys have heard of a guy named Phil Jones and, and he wrote a book called Exactly What to Say, right? Phil Jones is this like word ninja. And so he's he's got, it's not, it's not just dialogues, it's really honing in on words that matter because, and, and getting people to the result that you want by the things that you say. So Keller Williams has got him to come in and do a presentation for uh, us on the 24th, we're gonna buy the presentation to stream into the market center on the 24th. And out of all the people I've heard at the Keller Williams events over the last few years, um, I think probably my favorite has been Phil Jones. The guy is, is just truly amazing. And if conversations, and I would hope everybody would agree that conversations are important in the sales business, Knowing what to say, and the big thing that Phil always says is, when's the worst time to figure out what to say? Something. When you're in front of your client. When you're in front of your client or when you need to say it. So we got to be prepared to be able to deliver, especially in this era of delivering value, right? Um, we got to put ourselves. So the Mark Center is going to buy the, the, the session on the 24th. And we'll stream it into the market center uh, Okay. And we'll get more information out there. All right. So power hours every Monday. Uh, make sure that you uh, come come into those. We had a pretty good session yesterday. Um, next slide. We're going to kind of do an MREA book club. Uh, so this is going to kind of coincide with the Wealth Building Wednesday things that we were doing. Uh, so uh, first Wednesday of every month, which first Wednesday is when? Tomorrow. Right? So tomorrow we're going to talk about familiar real estate investor book. Um, and so even if you haven't read it yet, uh, come in to the session tomorrow because I'll we'll talk a little bit about what MREI is, how it works. Uh, I'll give you guys information on how to get a copy of that book. And uh, we'll start, uh, you know, first Wednesday of every month working together with this book club, um, uh, talking about some of the strategies and incorporating some of the strategies to the world. Um, so that's tomorrow, 12.30. And uh, this week we have the Tech Enabled Agent, uh, which I'll be teaching that. Uh, and this will go from 12 to 1. So James has to start out six personal perspectives this week for the first hour by yourself. Uh, and then I'll hop in the second hour uh, because I'm going to go over some tech stuff here. Uh, 
A lot of people are really, really stressing right now with NAR settlement on uh, buyer presentations and things like that. So in, our, in, in command, there are templates on buyer presentations and listing presentations. So I'm going to show you guys uh, how to access those things, how to customize those and use those templates so that when you go on buyer and seller presentations, you have things that are available to you. Okay. Uh, so that'll be Friday, uh, this Friday from 12 to 1. Uh, that uh, QR code is the link. That's not, that's not an actual physical in the office training. Uh, that is a regional technology training that I do, and that'll be on Zoom. Okay. Any questions about that? And then next Friday, I'll get some more info out. We have a cool, really cool new, new tool. If you're a listing agent, we have a really cool new, new tool in command that I'm going to go over next Friday. Uh, we have basically an exclusive listings uh, uh, tool inside of command now, to where if you have an off-market listing, you could put it into command, and then all of the agents in the office will be able to search for off-market listings uh, that aren't actually on MLS yet. And so I'll show you guys how to navigate and how to do that. Okay. All right. Uh, Justin's caravan, uh, that, that is the next one that he's going to have is going to be on July 2nd. Make sure you RSVP with Daniel on that. So that'll be a good one. And then title tips with Grant. Grant, take, it, take over the show. Thank you, John. Hello. <laughs> All right, so uh, today I wanted to do a little bit of uh, more title related information. I know we kind of come back and forth between tech and title, but I wanted to share something that I think could be helpful, especially if you're looking to add some pieces, maybe your buyer presentation. But this is going to be something that's helpful whether you're working with buyers or sellers. Uh, and I think most people might know what a preliminary title report is for those that. Don't know what it is, so I'm just trying to share the screen. Uh, preliminary title report is something you're going to see in an escrow transaction, whether you're working with a buyer or a seller. Uh, basically, what this is going to do is provide a bit of a checklist that you and your seller client, your buyer client, are going to have to go over. There's going to be items on that prelim that your seller client is going to have to take care of, or your buyer client is going to have to basically accept as a part of that package you're buying that house. So this is the thing that you'll see each time with a preliminary title report, but ideally it's a little bit more digestible. These reports aren't always easy for you to look at as realtors. If you're not working in title day to day, then obviously if you're working with buyers or sellers, something like this could be really daunting on top of a lot of the paperwork they're already seeing in the transaction. So I wanted to point out that for most times you should see on the first page of the prelim, something that looks like this. It should say Fidelity First Alert, and then you'll have this link right here. So you might know to click on it initially, but what's really great about this link when you do click on it is you get a really nice digestible summary that you can look at with your clients. So it's called Live Look. So you should get that for your prelims. If you ever get your prelim and you don't see that first page, let us know and we'll send that to you. But some of the nice features about this first thing it's going to show you is the actual vesting for the property. So how are they holding the pitch? So if you're working with the seller, that's going to tell you what are some of the documents that you need in escrow to take care of that transaction. So we have this guide if you do have a transaction and you want something to kind of give you a cheat sheet. So no matter what the vesting is, you'll have an awareness of what documents you and your clients need to provide to escrow. So that's one of the first benefits. And the other really nice thing is it pretty much lays out all of the exceptions. These are the main items on the prelim that need to be addressed or accepted if you're working with the buyer client. So those would be things like the property taxes. So really easily, you can come down here and click on these. It'll point out any property taxes that haven't been paid, for example, or any escaped taxes or supplemental taxes from the past that haven't been paid also. And then if you're working with a buyer client, it'll lay out all the easements also. So let's say they want to have an awareness of the easements, basically what are the rights that other parties have to my property when I live there? So the nice part is all of these easements, you can click on these and it's going to tell you the purpose of the easement. So in this case, it tells them it's for public utilities. The nice thing is it also shows where it actually affects the property. So let's say they Want to do some construction to the backyard or add an ADD, they need to be aware of these so know where they can and can't build. So it kind of helps your buyer clients that way. Things like the deed of trust are easily put in there too. So if you're working at the seller client, you can say, hey, you need to pay off this loan. And it even gives you the amount of that loan that they need to pay off. So just really helpful information. And then on top of that, too, all of the documents that you might need to look at in terms of legal documents are included in this report. So if you go to links documents at the left over there. 
So that might be things like the actual tax roll. So let's say you wanted to see which property taxes haven't been paid. You can click on that tax roll and you'll see these things here. Let's say you wanted to see the plat map. So your client maybe wanted to do some constructions and they wanted to see the dimensions of that property and the lot itself. And then another service that we do offer is, let's say there are a lot of easements on the property we're working with one right now, where they need to see an easement. So they want to see that the easement is existing there for a shared driveway in order to actually move their inspection contingency. The nice thing we can do based off of your preliminary title reports is actually plot all the easements on the map too. So that way, if they wanted to look at the map itself, all of these little diagrams here are different easements that affect the property. And then they also show where they are in the prelim itself. So that way it's really easy for you and your clients to access everything that they, uh, that they might need to be aware of. And then lastly, something to hopefully add maybe it's like your buyer package, your seller package that you're working on. On our website, we actually have a nice PDF that shows how to read a preliminary title report. So if you have a meeting with your client, you can bring this with you on your iPad or something. And it'll basically explain things like what is a preliminary title report. So that way, if you're working with someone who's buying a home for the first time, you can really easily explain what the preliminary title report is to them. So that's not obviously something that you're an expert in. And also it'll explain things like what are easements itself. So anything that you do see on a prelim itself, it's going to have all of these things listed out here. So let's say on the prelims you see Covenants, con uh, conditions, and restrictions. Maybe you don't really have a great sense of what that is, and someone asks you, hey, what are CC&Rs? And you're you know, sitting down with them. The nice thing is you can turn to this guide. It's going to give you a nice little reference point here that you can explain to your clients, and going into that meeting, you can look at yourself. So it serves as a nice little reference guide that you can just have as part of your toolkit. And then also, too, we're always happy to personalize these to you because a lot of these documents are helpful, but they're going to be generic. They're always going to have fidelity and action file button. But obviously, you're building your business. So you have information that's tailored to you. So we can always personalize them, put the Keller Williams logo on it too. I can get your headshot online and just put it on here so that we kind of have like a nice digital booklet that's personalized to you that you can have in all of your meetings with your clients. Uh, so let us know. We're always happy to do reviews for you too. So let's say you look at a preliminary title report, you have a big meeting, but you have no idea what a lot of those items are or what they mean. Always just let me know. I'm happy to like hop on a call with your clients and explain some of the items or explain it to you ahead of time because I know it can be tricky. You know, you want to present yourself as maybe the expert when you're sitting with your client and some of the information can be new and you have a lot going on in your escrow. So we're part of your team too. So whenever you're getting these reports for us, never feel like you're burdening us. We're more than happy to help any way that we can. And then lastly, for lead gen, I know some people were mentioning that. Feel free to always check out my YouTube. I always post videos about once a week with different real estate related tech tips. These are all using some of like the few products that we have Fidelity. A lot of them are free. They're going to be you free data, free technology, free resources that you can be using in your business. So uh, here to help me when we can, you know, so never feel like the are burdening us. Feel free to ask. And yep, Joel. Did you make any of those videos with AI? Yeah, a lot of them. Yeah, so a lot of the more recent ones. So like the last, uh, I think like five of these videos were AI created. So like if you're watching, for example, this one here, you'll be seeing like an AI avatar of me. They'll be speaking for me and stuff, just something that helps. So if you're wanting to do that for yourself in your business, let me know. We're always happy to sit down and show you how I'm doing it. Because I know it's a lot as realtors, you have to like lead gen, manage the active listings that you have and servicing the business you have. So the idea of video creation can be really daunting. But I have to have classes uh, here once a month, I think twice a month maybe in the near future. So I'll be showing things like this that you can use in your business. So thank you for the time, everybody. I'll be here after the meeting if you have questions and I'll see you next week. Hey, uh, one thing that we didn't get the, the, the chance to get it in the slide deck right now, but I also wanted to put this on your radar before uh, uh, as early as possible. That same day that we're going to be streaming the Phil Jones event, there actually is another session, a training session. Phil Jones is a little bit longer, so if you want to kind of go back and forth between the two, you can. Uh, but I just do want to put this on your radar, and I'll have Daniel send this out uh, a little bit later today. We're going to have Jeff Glover come in to the region. Uh, and not come in when I say come in, I mean uh, zoom in. Uh, and Jeff is one of the top agents in the country as well. Uh, he is uh, out of the Detroit area. Um, does He's an, got an amazing training program. And so he's going to do uh, a session for the LA Coastal Region on June 24th as well. And that's going to be from 11 to 11.30 Pacific time. Uh, so it's just a, a quick half an hour. Uh, some of the things he's going to go over are presentation skills, messaging and copywriting, social media, digital marketing, uh, how you lead generate today, and day, database building, 
Uh, so we'll get all that information out to you guys uh, later this afternoon, but I do want to put that on your radar. Uh, Jeff is, again, one of the very relevant, very current, is currently in production himself, has a big team, and one of the top agents in Keller Williams uh, right now as well. So uh, he's really, really valuable. And I know lots of agents from around the country that are on the, his, the, the sessions, and uh, they all write about uh, what they learned uh, from, from Jeff. So uh, that's definitely something that I Tune into as well. Okay. All right. Um, MCA then. Hi, everyone. I have a really important announcement about how you guys get paid. So, this month we're actually going to be switching programs. We're going to be paying you guys through command. So, because of the internal switch, there's going to be a little bit of a delay if you do not turn in your commission tab, which is formerly known as grade sheet. So, tell your TCs that the day you open escrow, to submit that. And if you have any price changes or deductions or credits given, to let me know immediately because without having it in the beginning of the start of escrow, I will, might not be able to pay you for 10 days. So I want to get you guys paid as quickly as possible. So if you have any questions, just come to me. I can show you how to do it. And just let your TCs know if they have questions, just give me a call. <laughs> All right, Daniel. We have our escrow corner with Alicia. Good morning, everybody. So, who wants to get paid ten days late? <laughs> oh, I do. Yeah, you know, right? So, yeah, make sure you really hear that. Um, I've been working alongside Paige, so as you guys know, I backed her up when she's not here. So, if she's not here and you have questions, you can ask me as well. Um, the other thing is, is that. You also, using Promenade Escrow, we have the unique ability here to wire your commission directly to your account from escrow as well. So if you guys have your files prepared, your TCs have it submitted, we can generally get you paid on the same day of closing in most cases. So if you want to get that set up, if you're not one of the agents that has your commissions wired directly from escrow to your bank account, um, come and talk to me. We'll make sure that we get that on file and I can start doing that directly from escrow. It cuts out another day or two of processing time. Um, just check with your own bank on wire fees. We have no wire fees for you, but your bank might charge you for incoming wires. So check that out. And just know that that's one of the biggest perks here for you personally, besides you know having us at your fingertips for any questions, is we can get you paid a heck of a lot faster when your escrow is with us. So does anybody have any questions about commissions or anything like that while I'm here? Submitting them online. Everybody knows what the command commissions tab is. No, nobody's gotten paid in here. <laughs> so if you if you don't know, attend a tech class. Um, like I said, come and see Paige because if your TC is out sick, you should know how to do it. Like bottom line is, you got to be that backup um, to make sure that your commission gets submitted. So we'd be happy to go over that. You guys have a great day. Great day. All right. Please, so we can take that slide down and go to the next one. Oh. You actually clicked on the wrong thing. There, there's an actual, just hit the forward button on that because that's a, that, that picture is a link. So we're going to do a career night. We haven't done uh, one of these. I don't know if how long it's been since one of these has been done. We haven't done one since I've been here. Uh, so if you have people that are interested potentially in a real clear career, maybe there's some past clients that you have expressed to you wanting, wanting to get into real estate. Uh, we're going to just kind of do a Q&A session for people on how to get started, what the process looks like, tell them a little bit about the case for programs that we have to be able to get the licensing for free. Uh, so that is going to be in the training room here on the 26th, uh, which is like the last Wednesday of the month. Uh, and it will be roughly from, it probably won't go from 6 to 8, but it will be roughly from 6 to whenever we finish, uh, as far as that goes. Um, so this is a really great way, if you know people that are potentially look, are looking to get into the business, uh, to get them uh, the information that they need, and then ultimately, potentially build your downloads up as well, too. Uh, and then I talked to a couple of our experienced agents. Uh, and I'll talk to a few more. So we are going to have a couple people uh, here that are experienced agents to kind of let them know a little bit about what the business looks like, what to expect, uh, what it entails, uh, all of that good stuff 
that as well too. Uh, so uh, that we'll, we'll get you more info on that. That will be on the last Wednesday. Yeah. Can I get my three cents about career night? Yeah. This is an opportunity for all of you to build what we call your profit share downline. We've had it in the years past. If you know someone who's outgoing, uh, a good conversationalist like all of you are, you may want to become sort of a suggestor or maybe you might want to look into the real estate business. So the best profile of people who go into real estate are nurses, school teachers, and cosmetic salespeople. So the next time you're buying lipstick, John, I know you go to the cosmetic counter. Yeah. 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 <laughs> next time you're at a cosmetic counter, you should mention to the person, gee, you're so nice and outgoing. Thank you for that. Have you ever thought about going into real estate? They're prime candidates. So is your teacher that teaches your kids, because I'm a former teacher and I know you. So are you. So we know that those people know how to communicate. So those three uh, professions are prime time. So don't just blow this off and say, well, I, I have my real estate license. I don't need to come there. Use it as an opportunity to build your profit share downline because there's a check around here that everybody sees that this office alone has shared over $2 million in profit share. That's money you'll make for the rest of your life. Okay, not just while you have a commission. That's not commission, this is profit share. So try to get involved in this, call people and see how they might be a great candidate to come to get a real estate. Let me hear about the career. Yeah, for sure. And you know, a lot of times people that are past clients, uh, you know, are thinking about doing something. Uh, and yeah. uh, so those are really good people to connect with as well, too. Okay. Uh, so uh, we'll get more details out to you on that, and we'll get some uh, marketing that you guys can send out if you guys want to send that out to people that you know that might be interested. Uh, but that will be the last Wednesday of the month from six to roughly eight o'clock. Okay. Um, with that, we do have our day score program. So if you do know somebody right now that wants to get started, which I know some people do, um, if they just scan that QR code uh, or if you scan that QR code, uh, there's a website where people can basically get information on how to get their real estate license courses. Uh, and what's cool about this, if you haven't heard about it, but uh, hopefully you have, the K score uh, program is our partnership with Kaplan Real Estate School. Uh, which uh, basically offers scholarships so that you get your real estate courses taken care of for free, uh, which is with Kaplan, that's about a $400 value um, so that you don't have to worry about paying the cost to get your uh, classes on Calvo. Brian, you went through case score, right? Yes. Uh, and so every, uh, everybody that I've talked to uh, or been involved with that has went through this program has actually passed on the first sure. try. Like, I'm, I've been talking to a couple of uh, other new agents that are uh, uh, that uh, have failed multiple times on the test, but that didn't go through this. Every agent that I've talked to that's went through the case four program has passed on the first shot. Uh, and wait, how did you find the program, Brian? Well, it was great. I mean, it, was, uh, I, it made the test easy. Oh, well, it's very, it's, you can go at your own pace, or you can do it each, there's three books. You can do it in 18 days each book. So you can max, you know, make it as quick as you can. And uh, yeah, the knowledge that you gain, easy pass on the license tips, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Is that something like that too, uh, for agents that want to become filters, just out of curiosity? Uh, we do have the, this case for program does offer discounts for ex existing agents to be able to take other courses as far as that goes. Uh, but there isn't like a free track for, for, for brokers. Yeah. But if you are interested in getting a broker's license, there is, uh, they do have um, a discount programs for broker's license. Okay, cool. Uh, next slide. If there even is one. No, that's okay, it. so that's it. Ben. John, how long is it taking to get a real estate license? Well, um, unfortunately, the state of California is kind of like the, the, the Department of Real Estate, it's kind of like the DMV. Uh, and so it takes a long time because of the state. So the coursework itself, there's three courses that you have to take. And uh, as Brian said, 
the uh, because they have accreditation hours, they don't, they don't let you take classes uh, like at the same time. Uh, so basically, Kaplan says that you have that wait 18 days between this take starting the first one to taking the next class. Um, so you have basically it's a 54 days if you did it as, if you took the courses as fast as possible. So that's getting the coursework done. Now getting the actual license from the state. The state is about two, two and a half months behind on processing stuff right now. So if I got my if I got my classes knocked out in two months, I'm gonna probably get my test date in roughly about two and a half months. So now we're at about four and a half. Uh, and then I'm gonna take my test. Uh, and then um, so we're probably looking at best case scenario five months. Uh, so generally it's about six months. From start, start, start to, to actually being the license. But I've seen some agents that get it done in about five. So I think average is about six. Um, you can do it. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Um, and then uh, there was, I think that there was one other thing that I wanted to bring up. Uh, I'll save it for the next team meeting uh, as far as that goes. Uh, now, oh, I know what it was. Is I'll get some more detail. A lot of Daniel gets more details out to you guys today. There's a lot of stuff that Daniel's going to be sending your way later, so make sure that you access it. Um, but Phil Jones, uh, the guy that I was telling you about that we're going to stream in on the exactly what to say. Um, when I went to family reunion last time, I went to the to the red label store, which is kind of like where they sell you a bunch of stuff. And I was just going to buy a t-shirt, and these guys upsold me on all kinds of stuff. I'm a sucker for color on these stuff. I just need to stay away from those, those booths when I go to those events. Uh, but one of the things I did buy uh, that I thought was really cool, and we're going to kind of test it out, I've been talking to John a little bit about it, is Phil Jones uh, has this card deck specifically built for real estate on exactly what to say. And basically, it has these cards. That it's kind of like, it's a game. Uh, where you randomize it and then it kind of puts you on the spot on, hey, how would I respond to this particular segment, this particular thing? Uh, so uh, we're going to do a game. Uh, uh, and I, don't, I don't have the exact day and time. I'm going to work on that today. Uh, and the game night, uh, we'll have some fun. We'll bring some food in and, and do all that cool stuff. And uh, the whole thing will be revolved around playing that game to help us really strengthen and build our conversations. Because our conversations right now, I think, you guys would agree are, are, are key. They're really, really, really important, uh, more so than ever. And, and as we get into this new dynamic of, of uh, the NAR settlement and how that's going to play out and shift and stuff like that, it's going to be really important to make sure that we have that we're not thinking about what to say in the moment, but we know exactly how we're going to go down those paths that we think we want to say. Uh, so we're going to start working on doing some more conversations, dialogues, things like that. Uh, so uh, we're gonna make the first, this first one fun, probably do it in a week or two, uh, and we'll just uh, play, play the game and have some fun, okay? All right, guys, uh, we've got a, quite a few uh, properties on tour today. Uh, so let's make sure uh, that uh, you guys go out there and, and take a look at what's going on in our market. Thank you, Thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> Just send her this next slide. Uh, I <laughs> 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 